Welcome back to my channel. This is Nikki of Nikki's Homemade Crafts. Let's get started with part one of a very, very easy neck accessory mystery crochet along. You're gonna need some yarn, but you have a few different choices here. I'm using Puzzle Cotton and Pixie Dust Brights yarn at the same time okay i'll show you in a second it's a really really cool effect and i highly recommend for you to test it out and combine a very very soft yarn like pixie dust brights or simply a worsted rated yarn they're both worsted rated yarns um and an, a variegated yarn at the same time so it's a solid color with a variegated yarn but the variegated yarn is a neutral color as you can see it has like whites and grays in it different shades and then we have a more toned down version of blue um or turquoise or anything you want pretty much uh works really well and it's it has more of a wintry feeling to it well, you already know it's going to be a neck accessory, but it's not going to be jewelry. I'll give you that hint. But there are four different uh, types of neck accessory that I might be picking from. So there would be a scarf, a cowl, an infinity scarf, or a shawl slash wrap. So the question would be, which one? Well, that is for you to figure out as we go through this mystery crochet along. But if you don't have two worsted rated yarns that you would like to combine i recommend using a number six or chunky or super bulky yarn that works as an equivalent for this project i used about 250 grams in total i used the entire skein of pixie dust brights yarn and part of the puzzle cotton yarn so there will be some left over on this one. It makes sense because there's 200 grams right there and there's 100 grams right here, okay? So um, are you ready to get started? It is super duper easy. In fact, we're just going to use basic crochet stitches. And we're also going to use a six millimeter hook. So let's get started. So you're simply gonna take both of your strands together and pretend that they are one. You're going to make a slip knot and now you're going to chain six and now you can decide however you're going to crochet it okay so i will use a double crochet for this project however you can totally do this also in triple crochet single crochet half double crochet but if you're using the exact same yarn as I did, I highly recommend either a double crochet or triple crochet because it uses less yarn than a single or half double crochet because otherwise you're going to run out of yarn and that would not be good. <laughs> so I do recommend a double or triple crochet uh, for this project. As you can see, that's super easy and beginner friendly and it's super fun. So let's get started. I prefer going into the back bump of my chains, but you can totally go into a front or back loop. That's up to you. You're going to start with a single crochet. Yes, you heard that right, single crochet, because we're going to make it into a stacked single crochet, also known as an alternative turning chain. Once you have your single crochet in a second chain from the hook, you're going to insert your hook to the loop that is closest to your yarn finger. Yarn over and pull through. Now you have two loops on your hook. Remember, both of these strands are considered one loop each, right? So one loop, second loop. Yarn over and pull through. Now you have two stacked single crochets on top of each other. And right here is going to be your stitch, right? That you can go through. There's a nice V there. So you can easily use that in the next row in order to put a crochet stitch on top of it. If you're using a triple crochet stitch, you're going to repeat this process one more time by simply going through this loop right here. Again, closest to your yarn finger, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through two. So you have three single crochets stacked on top of each other. I just need two because I'm making double crochet stitches. Yarn over and insert your hook into your chains. So there should be four more double crochet stitches to go if you're doing double. Uh, you can totally do treble, as I said, or any other basic crochet stitch. You can even go fancy if you like, but I recommend staying around five stitches per row. Once you're at the end of the row, you're going to turn and you're going to start over this process. So you're going to crochet 
again an alternative turning chain or you can also do a chain of two and then a double crochet in the same stitch or a chain of three and then go into the second stitch and crochet a double crochet. I prefer the alternate turning chain because it makes a clean edge. Doesn't the yarn look so pretty? Look at that glitter. So I hope you're going to try this yarn at some point if you didn't try it for this project. It's super fun. I have a link down below for both of these yarns so you can test it out if you like. It is so fun to work with, especially with a nutty yarn together. And now simply keep going and crocheting your project. You're going to crochet in total 80 rows. Yes, you heard that right. 80 rows. You're going to make a long strap or you're going to make sure that your strap is between 57 and 60 inches long. Go by measurement over row count. But as you can see, it is super fun and super easy. And look at these amazing colors that it creates. Do you see the variegation happening in here? Even though we are using that uh, bluish turquoise color, uh, but with the variegation of the puzzle cotton, it makes it really, really cool. So you only had to do one strip in part one. So really easy right so are you ready for part two already well part two comes out in two days so make sure you check it out and start the guessing game make sure you take a picture of your long strip maybe roll it up the way i did and post it into my group crocheting with nikki with the corresponding hashtag so i can celebrate you and cheer you on plus you encourage others to do the same let's have fun together with this neck accessory mystery crochet along i see you in part two be sure to like, comment, and share this video. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on the bell to get a notification next time I'm publishing a video or go live. Now go ahead and watch the next video. You're going to want to. I promise you do.